Which star system did you originate from? By Joe Amidon. June 10, 2016. Website. Lightconnection.org. Produced by Higher Self. Which star system did you originally come from? The following describes traits and characteristics of specific star systems. This information is from Joe Amidon's book, Where Are You Really From? Vega. Those who have Vega as their planetary origin are self-sufficient, independent, proud, and strong-willed. There is an outer smooth energy and appearance of strength and capability. Those from Vega tend to be knowledgeable in a wide variety of areas, they may be trivia collectors for information concerning their areas of interest. They have a variety of talents and capabilities, are quite creative and often have an ability to combine creative expression with intellectual expression. They may be artists, designers, inventors, architects, or in current times may work more closely with creativity through new or expanding technologies. Their methods of working with technology will differ from many, as it is based more on feeling than on intellectual understanding. They do well at beginning projects, but less well at completing them. There may be lessons to aid vegans in learning self-discipline and willpower or they may surround themselves with others who are supportive and will aid in the completion of projects and ideas. Those from Vega are travelers who seek variety, challenge, and understanding of the many questions they have within. They may become bored easily. They tend to analyze, question and doubt all which they do not understand, does not meet their belief system or simply does not feel right. Although quite willing to learn, change and grow, vegans need understanding to occur on an inner level to allow opening within for change to occur. This understanding will not be of a practical, logical nature. It will be an inner comprehension that will be more a feeling that leads to knowing instead of a technical understanding. Most from Vega have a strong sense of responsibility, nurturing and caring. They may find fulfillment in working with children, those who are ill or in need of care and support. At times however, they may be overly responsible for others, and may need to remind themselves of the importance of teaching responsibility, as well as being responsible. They may need to work with developing a stronger sense of feeling the integrity of others, as they may find themselves taken advantage of due to their caring nature. They may find others attracted to their understanding energy, and may be approached in many situations by others wishing to share personal problems. It should be noted that few from Vega are themselves willing to share personal details with others, unless trust is first established. Vegans have healing abilities, and may have an affinity for stones and crystals. Many from Vega work in caring for others in the area of healthcare, either physical, mental, as teachers or in areas which allow freedom of creative expression. They have a strong need for time alone, privacy, and freedom from restrictions. It is important that they be shown appreciation for what is done for others. Those in personal relationships with Vegans may at times be in need of more attention, and may feel somewhat neglected, due to their many interests and areas of focus. They may become so involved with caring for others, that they neglect personal needs and personal relationships. Serious Those who have Sirius as their planetary origin are very focused, very determined and set on whatever path they are on at a given time. It is very difficult to change the mind of one from Sirius, but once they have become convinced that a new path is more appropriate, they become totally focused on the new, and release the old quickly. Syrians have strong beliefs, ideals, and personal integrity. Those from Sirius make loyal, trustworthy friends, but expect the same in return. They become hurt and disillusioned when these expectations are not met. Syrians do not share the inner personal self with others easily, and may have difficulty sharing emotions and expressing feelings and needs. 
To be fully accepted and trusted as a close personal friend of a Syrian means that you have been carefully scrutinized. Syrians may have difficulty in relationships and friendships when they expect to be treated in a certain way, but do not share their expectations with the others involved. It is important to work with sharing expectations, ideals, communicating needs and desires to avoid being hurt and disillusioned. This often occurs as a result of lack of communication or lack of mutual understanding and clarity in relationships. Those from Sirius tend to be future-oriented, and do not enjoy focusing on the past. They may become defensive if forced to focus on the past by others. This is due to the fact that past pain and emotion is held within, denied and repressed rather than being dealt with at the time of occurrence. Due to this there may be large amounts of old emotion in need of being dealt with and released. Syrians do not enjoy confrontations or open expressions of anger, but if forced into an argument, will defend themselves and their beliefs fiercely. This is particularly true if honor of themselves or loved ones is involved. One of the lessons many Syrians have chosen to work with in this lifetime is the importance of releasing old pain, forgiving self, and others, and moving on. Syrians have a very unique and strong sense of humor, which often is only seen when they are with those they trust and feel at ease with. Syrians may be considered dreamers by some. This is due to their active, vivid inner life. This can cause forgetfulness and a tendency to not notice trivial third-dimensional things in the present. They may at times appear to be uninterested, or inattentive, but in actuality they are simply somewhere else. They may not realize that others are unaware of their inner activity. Although they appear very calm, quiet and reserved on the surface, there is much activity within. As children, Syrians may often be thought to have learning disorders or thought to have problems with their attention span. This is due to the attraction of the inner world, which is often more interesting than that which is taught in earth schools. They do best in learning when visual methods of teaching are used, and they are allowed hands-on types of learning with freedom to move around and explore. These are children who benefit greatly from alternative schools, they are very intelligent, but strong enough within to feel that if something does not interest them, they should not be required to learn about it. Those from Sirius have a deep connection to the earth and energies of nature. Many Syrians have had numerous lives as American Indians and maintain close ties and memories of these lives. They are very visual, both in their ability to see things which others do not, and in their manner of learning. Vila those who have Vila as their planetary origin have strong personalities, strong abilities, and much pride. There is a strong sense of humor and desire to be the focus of attention. These are often class clown or life of the party types. There may be a tendency to go too far with teasing and humor, sometimes at the expense of others. This is not done with any intention to hurt, simply from a tendency to become carried away with impulses of the moment. There is a need to learn compassion and gentleness in dealing with others. Vlans carry an aura of power which may give others the impression that they are unbending and unapproachable. This can be unsettling, especially to those who are insecure or have low self-esteem. At times others may have trouble understanding and coping with Vlans, as they can come across as a bit overbearing. It may be necessary to work with modifying behavior patterns, and softening the approach used in interactions with others. It is good for others to look beyond the forceful exterior, this allows the kindness within to be seen. When this is done, it will be found that VLANs are very caring, and will do much to help those they feel are true friends and are deserving of their aid. At times they may do too much for friends, and may need to step back and allow others their learning experiences. Those close to VLANs, will find them to be very loyal, devoted friends who easily overlook the shortcomings and flaws of friends. 
they may be very quick to judge or label these same shortcomings or flaws in others who are not yet considered friends. It is helpful for PVLANs to learn to step back and detach from self, as they tend to become so engrossed in their personal life that they may exclude others. This can be a problem in personal relationships, as others may feel neglected when this occurs. One of the lessons many from Vila have chosen to work with in this lifetime is the control of ego and learning to balance care for others with care for personal needs. There is a drive to collect information, details, knowledge, and a desire to explore and understand everything. VLANs possess a photographic type of memory. There is an ability to retain what has been learned, for future reference, in graphic detail. VLANs make good lecturers, authors, or may work with technical or scientific knowledge. They not only love collecting knowledge but also sharing it with others. They have many possible careers, and may have several active careers at once, as they do not like to limit themselves. They are usually knowledgeable on many different subjects and ask many questions in seeking information and details. They may feel frustration or intolerance with others who do not seek to learn and understand with the same diligence. It is good for PVLANs to work with developing tolerance and understanding of those who do not share their thirst for knowledge. VLANs are very determined and focused upon whatever their path may be at any time. This path may change frequently, as they move from one pathway to another with ease. To others, it may appear as if they have difficulty in making decisions, or maintaining a focus. This is not true, they simply have the ability to maintain a number of focuses at once with changing levels of priority. Areas of interest will come and go as the desire for new knowledge leads them to seek ever onward. In relationships, those from Vila need respect and freedom. They should seek those whose personal power and security is strong, so they will not be intimidated. VLANs must have time alone to reconnect and find peace within. There is a strong need for privacy and quiet times. They balance well with others who share this need for freedom and privacy. There is often an attraction to those who have softer energies, yet it is important that they be with others of equal intelligence, as this creates the challenge and excitement VLAN so enjoy. This allows energy balancing, yet maintains the intellectual stimulation that is so important for VLANs. Pleiades those who have Pleiades as their planetary origin are sensitive, loving and kind. There is a deep, abiding desire for peace and happiness for all. If one from Pleiades were asked what do you want out of life? They would likely say, to be happy. The Pleiadeans have a pleasant smooth energy which others enjoy being near. They are emotional and loving, but tend to repress much due to their desire to please others. They are sensitive and react quickly to criticism. Pleiadeans tend to sacrifice personal needs and wants while attempting to please others. This may cause inner resentment. Rather than expressing resentment or anger openly, Pleiadeans may instead use passive-aggressive behavior in hopes that their feelings will be noticed and responded to without the need for discussion. They must learn to realize others whom they seek to please would usually prefer to hear their feelings and needs. Pleiadeans can become physically ill in situations where there is anger, open tension, or arguments around them, as they absorb emotions of others in an unconscious effort to mediate and smooth situations. The tendency to repress their own emotions, and the emotions absorbed from others can form energy blockages if not released over a period of time. This can lead to eventual physical illness. A large part of the learning experience for Pleiadeans is to learn to allow others to experience what they have chosen, and not become personally involved. They will learn to be aware of their desire to make others happy and realize that one can only be responsible for one's personal happiness and self-development. They must learn to allow others to be responsible for themselves, their growth and learning situations. They must learn that they cannot decide when others are happy, or what others need to be happy, 
and instead focus on creating their own happiness. As true responsibility is accepted for self and personal happiness, they will flourish and the physical body will respond with radiance. Pleiadians must work to develop communication skills on a third dimensional level and also to develop self esteem. It is important for them to reclaim personal power, learn to communicate freely, and become strong within. At times, it may appear to others that Pleiadians are overly reserved and distant. This is due to their tendency to criticize their thoughts to the point of not sharing them and the self esteem problems many Pleiadians have. Often they feel that their thoughts are not worth sharing and must work in this area also. Those from Pleiades may develop patterns of using various third-dimensional pursuits as temporary escapes from reality, or false aids in building communication ability and confidence. This could be ventures into drugs or drinking, creating sexual or romantic dramas, or simply escaping into other realities through reading, television, or movies. Pleiadians release through crying. Due to their tendency to repress emotions, this may build to a point where releasing must occur. This may result in crying which appears as an overreaction to current situations. Instead, it is a releasing of much more than the current situation. Due to the communication issues which are worked with, many Pleiadians experience various types of releasing in the throat chakra area, such as crying. This could also be frequent physical problems or speech difficulty, such as hoarseness, coughing, or tightness in the throat chakra. This will no longer occur when confidence and free communication of emotions and needs are learned and used in daily life. These can be used as signs to look within at what is not being communicated that needs to be. Pleiadians are very strong on faith and trust. They have a strong sense of purpose from childhood, a feeling of knowing there is a God connection, purpose, and plan, even in their darkest hour. There is an inner desire to seek spiritual answers and to find their connection to the God force. As they begin to seek and learn, growth begins. As they begin to realize the God connection and to love themselves as the perfect beings that all are, Many of the old feelings, emotions, and self-doubts fade. Orion Those who have Orion as their planetary origin have strong personalities, ideals, and beliefs. Orions may be recognized by the many questions they ask. There is a strong drive to understand the reasons and inner meanings of all things. They tend to analyze people and events in their need to understand. This may be frustrating to those around them, as this may create feelings of being scrutinized. This is due to the tendency of most Orions to operate on a mental level, rather than a feeling level. This is not due to a lack of feeling, it is simply the primary mode of operation for an Orion. Orions want others to respect their opinions and may argue to gain respect and convince others of the validity of their opinions. They must learn to balance the drive to understand, with sensitivity to the needs of others. The mature Orion has learned that in explaining their views and opinions, having them accepted as valid and considered by others is what they seek, and it is not necessary to have others be in agreement. Orions have a deep inner thirst for knowledge and may be frustrated with those who do not share this thirst. There is interest a wide variety of fields. It will be obvious when conversing with an Orion that either a subject holds great interest for them, and they are quite knowledgeable, or there is no interest at all and know almost nothing of that area. There is strong skepticism and difficulty in accepting new beliefs without thorough evidence and proof of validity. This is due to their mental and intellectual focus, and need to make sense of things logically before accepting them. Orions tend to be critical of others and of themselves. This is because Orions expect and seek perfection. They have a keen eye for details and notice things which others do not. They tend to point out these things to others, if they feel these are things in need of attention or correction. This can be upsetting to those not accustomed to Orion energy, and may be taken as personal criticism. 
it is good to realize that Orions are very sensitive to balance, and may feel physically upset or ill in situations where there is imbalance. This creates their need to correct imbalance when it is sensed. It can be emotional imbalance that is sensed in others, or in themselves, or outer physical imbalance. Orions need beauty and balanced flow of energy in their surroundings to feel their best on all levels. In relationships and in dealing with emotions, Orions react to emotions intellectually and may surprise others by their reactions. The drive to understand is much stronger than the emotional reaction. It is very important for them to understand the reasons behind a situation, to aid in their ability to accept and understand. In an emotional situation, a typical Orion response is to ask questions, although the quieter Orions may do this within. This does not mean they do not feel or care, simply that they must seek understanding. Orions are often uncomfortable with emotional situations unless they know those involved well enough to feel free to ask the questions within. By honoring this need, communication can be built in relationships with Orions. If their need to question, or understand emotion is not allowed, they will develop patterns of repressing emotions, or exploring them only on an inner level. Those from Orion need privacy and time alone to recharge, learn, and develop the flow within. They learn best alone or in small groups, and do not feel comfortable in large classroom settings. There is a high energy level, which combined with the questioning nature, makes Orions intolerant of classroom learning, when they feel teaching is not done well, or is not meaningful. Many Orions make excellent teachers, due to their ability to see many details, and angles of presenting information, to make learning more interesting for the student. Orions enjoy making others laugh. There is a strong sense of humor and desire to tease and play. Others may notice that the change from playfulness to being critical can occur quickly. There is strong communication with spirit, and psychic ability. As Orions grow on a spiritual pathway, they find their largest challenge to be that of developing higher levels of trust and faith. This is due to many aspects of spirituality that must be accepted simply on faith. Orions are deeply ingrained with the need to question, seek proof, answers, and logical understanding before accepting beliefs. This can create difficulty and an inner struggle for many Orions, as they learn to combine the technical mind with the spiritual self. However, it is these same qualities which make Orions important collectors of information and knowledge which can be shared with others. Maldek Those who have Maldek as their planetary origin have strong, steady personalities. They are determined and focused in their beliefs, whatever those beliefs may be. It may be difficult to for someone to convince one from Maldek of the validity of new beliefs, as there are always many questions that must be answered to their comfort before accepting new possibilities. They often have deep leadership abilities, although these may be quietly expressed. Those from Maldek are very intelligent, technically minded and detail oriented. They are knowledgeable in a wide variety of areas. They may have several careers, or one career with strong interests outside the field they chose for career. They seek to understand what is below the surface of people, things, and events. Due to this, they seldom accept simple explanations or easy answers. They tend to analyze events, experiences, and interactions with people and believe there is always more than what is apparent on a surface level. Those from Maldek are individuals who usually will know quite a bit about any subject that may be brought up in conversation. They are reserved, and may appear to be distant or hard to approach to those they do not know well. They are cautious and skeptical about whom and what they trust with their innermost selves. If one is accepted as a friend or in an intimate relationship, they are very loving, honorable, and trustworthy companions. They are disappointed in relationships if others do not return these qualities equally. 
they expect from others what they themselves are willing to give. It is often surprising to others to find such deeply felt beliefs, opinions, and emotions in one who appears on the surface this quiet and reserved. Only with those they trust fully do they open themselves emotionally, but when this trust is present they are very capable of, and enjoy sharing themselves on all levels. Maldekians love challenges, mysteries and the unknown or unexplainable. They are often fascinated with magic and the use of energy to create and manifest. They often have an early interest in astronomy, the planets, and exploring the universe. They may love tales such as King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, Merlin the Magician and others of that era. The desire for honor, integrity, loyalty, and service of common goals is strong. They may long for historical times when the defense of these ideals was a common daily activity. Those time periods on earth were favored by Maldekians, who may feel frustrated by much in this current time on earth. In relationships Maldekians are strongly supportive and understanding of partners, providing their partner is equally open to sharing themselves fully, and discussing all elements of their needs and desires. Once mutual understanding is achieved, there is a willingness to do whatever is needed to help those they love achieve their goals and dreams. It should be understood that because of the Maldek questioning nature, it might take many discussions for this to occur. Maldekians have a strong loyalty and little problem with commitment, whether it is to a relationship, friendship, career, or ideal. They do expect the same in return and will be quickly disillusioned if this is not so. This would be one of the rare occasions when a Maldek temper might be seen. Maldek was a planet which was on the other side of Mars. It no longer exists, and current remains of the planet are what appears to be an asteroid belt. Arcturus Those who have Arcturus as their planetary origin have strong personalities, a deep inner strength and a knowing within. On the surface, they appear strong, capable, and powerful. There is a feeling from childhood of having an important purpose in life, although there is not usually knowledge of what that might be. There is a searching for this purpose, which often leads to spiritual exploration. If this purpose is not found, there may be an inner feeling of dissatisfaction or unhappiness without understanding of the cause of this. Arcturians are very creative. Many Arcturians are writers, artists, designers, or use their abilities to create in some way. Arcturians are often good public speakers, have a good sense of timing and humor, the life of the party. They enjoy making others laugh. They are loving and like to travel. They may tend to get bored easily and seek new experiences to avoid boredom. If they do get bored they may create dramas just to stir things up or create excitement. This can show up in a tendency to create big problems out of little ones, to drag out situations, or dramatize situations to get attention. Arcturians may seem hard to get close to or distant at times. They do not have many clothes, intimate personal friends, but have many casual friends. If an Arcturian accepts you as a close personal friend, and shares themselves with you on an inner level, know that you have been carefully considered prior to being accepted. Arcturians attract people, complete strangers are drawn to the Arcturian energy and magnetism. They are good advice givers, and their aura makes it appear to others that they are strong and complete. Others may be surprised to find that Arcturians have problems and feelings just like everyone else. There is often a wide circle of acquaintances that depend upon their Arcturian friends for advice and guidance. Although willing to listen and give advice, Arcturians may be impatient with those not willing to put forth needed effort or are not really trying to accomplish what they seek. There is impatience with whiners. Those who seek advice but are not willing to use the advice they are given may lose their Arcturian mentor when this is realized. Arcturians have much energy, either physical and mental. They may jump from one place to another or from one subject to another. 
They normally do not like sitting still and being quiet, but need to feel that they are accomplishing something. They tend to be enthusiastic and optimistic. When their energy is focused and used well, there is little they cannot accomplish. When it is scattered and without focus, there will be many projects begun, with few completed. In love relationships, Arcturians need personal freedom. They feel trapped in relationships that are restricting. They need time alone, time with friends, and to be able to do this without guilt or explanations. There is need for understanding that freedom should apply to all involved the treatment they need for themselves should be extended to others. Arcturians are not comfortable with expressing their deepest emotions, and tend to react to situations that stir deep emotions by creating diversions. Of their emotions, they are most comfortable with expressing anger, and humor. They may create arguments, begin storytelling, Arcturians are great storytellers, try to create laughter, or have a sudden urge to do something to avoid openly discussing their emotions. Apollonia Apollonians love to learn and add to their many talents. There is often interest in taking varied classes and developing many abilities. There is a deep questioning nature to Apollonians that leads them on a search for answers and fulfillment. This may result in a number of careers or interests in a lifetime as they seek to constantly add to their repertoire of knowledge. They may at times feel somewhat like sponges as they soak up many different bits of knowledge. They may appear to others like professional students, or give the appearance of being unable to make up their minds as to what they wish to do. This is not the case. It is simply that Apollonians do not allow themselves to be limited to any one role, or definition of who and what they are. Any attempt by others to limit them or label them is very strongly and instantly resisted. This is one instance where the normally calm Apollonians will show a dramatic reaction. There may be situations where the Apollonian may feel that others are making attempts to limit, restrict, or label them, regardless of the truth, if a situation creates this feeling, there will be a strong reaction. There is a deep desire to be self-sufficient and avoid the need to depend on others, financially or emotionally. They may need to remind themselves at times to enjoy life and take time for pleasure, as they tend to be rather serious. This can be very obvious if they are focused on a pathway of learning or achievement. It should be noted that even the rare Apollonian who chooses a pathway of pleasure-seeking and play rather than serious learning, will be just as deeply and fully focused on that pathway. Many from Apollonia have work to do as earth healers and feel a deep connection to the earth and her needs. There is early recognition of energy fields, auras, spirit friends, or angels, which leads them to be drawn to spiritual learning as a means of finding answers and explanations. These abilities with energy may lead them to do healing work at some point in their lives, either with the planet, animals, or people. There is often an attraction to children and desire to help children and those who are helpless or in need. This could be as a parent, teacher, counselor, or simply an interested friend. There is a strong ability to empathize with others and use that ability to help others to heal and release emotional pain and fears. There is a strong love of beauty and nature. Apollonians often rely on the beauty and peace of nature to heal themselves and find peace within. There is a strong sense of intuition and spiritual connectedness. Those from Apollonia may have often considered themselves exotic or taken pleasure in being different. Andromeda Those with an Andromeda planetary origin seek freedom. There is a deep inner thirst and drive that leads them to search for this feeling of freedom. They may change jobs, homes, or relationships in their search. At some point, they will realize that the freedom they seek, and the feelings they often have of being trapped are not due to their actual circumstances. The true freedom they seek comes only from within. It is found only by developing self-love, and the inner spiritual self. The mature Andromedon has realized this, 
and works with this knowledge to create a reality that allows these needs to be honored, while continuing to grow in other areas. Andromedons must work with issues of self-confidence and love. These areas may be obvious in their need for development, or they may be disguised. When self-love and confidence are developed, the inner freedom and spiritual connectedness will be found within, where it has always been, if the trust and faith in self were present to allow it to be seen. As this develops, the connection between self and God becomes strong. This allows past life memories to flow, and many old talents begin to awaken to be used once again. Many Andromedons discover they have much to offer others on a spiritual pathway and become known as teachers and healers. Andromedons enjoy travel and thrive on experiencing many types of realities. They enjoy excitement, activity, and variety. They may have early desires to visit past life homes, shown as desires to visit certain places or interest in certain areas or time periods without understanding why. They may enjoy driving fast, or flying in airplanes, as this stimulates subconscious memories of home. Andromedons tend to create dramatic learning scenarios for themselves, due to their tendency to be self-critical and not take themselves seriously. Through learning to notice smaller growth opportunities and lessons, they will begin to avoid creating larger dramas. The Andromedon tendency to be self-critical may lead them to expect others to be critical of them. They are often surprised at finding how well they are liked by others. Outwardly, many Andromedon are confident, capable, and outgoing with well-developed abilities to communicate with others. They are very good at keeping the inner fears, doubts, and insecurities inside and presenting a very different face to the outside world. They may be well suited to teaching, health care or careers which involve traveling. Some learn to combine the attraction to drama with writing or acting, and express themselves in those ways. Andromedons have healing and communication abilities which are often felt early in childhood. These are often ignored or discouraged by family members, and must later be retrieved. Andromedons are sensitive, caring individuals who have much compassion and ability to put themselves in another's position and truly empathize. There is a desire to work with healing the physical, emotional, or psychic pains of mankind.